Hi, my name is Dr. Riya Patel and I'm a Chief Fellow at Rosal Park Cancer Institute and um, affiliated with University at Buffalo. I'm here to talk about my poster, which is based on genomic signature analysis and survival outcomes in cholangiocarcinoma using the Orion database. So the Orion database is it's a network of uh, 13 different institutes um, across the United States. And in this database uh, of about 78 patients, we aimed to look at how um, these metastatic cholangiocarcinoma have different genomic expression that can predict um, or at least help us predict and identify biomarkers that can um, be useful in identifying which patients would do better with chemotherapy or immunotherapy. So um, in this analysis, we basically looked at the RNA sequencing data um, of the 78 uh, cholangiocarcinoma patients and identified the transcriptional portion for T effector and T regulatory cells based on which we identified cold and hot tumors uh, with T effector to T regulatory cell uh, ratios less and high. Um, in our analysis, we identified about nine genes that are differentially expressed within the hot tumors and the cold tumors, um, namely cholangiocarcinoma over here. Um, and we noticed that the hot tumors, they had more differential expression and upregulation of the genes that were involved in uh, immune cell pathways. So um, th the genes like CTLA4, CD80, which we Pretty, know, pretty much know are um, related to predict uh, immunotherapy response. However, we noticed that in cold groups, we saw upregulation of different uh, metabolic genes that control uh, different processes of cell, uh, cellular cycles, namely respiration, cholesterol, and amino acid transport. So with this new data, I think we can leverage this in designing clinical trials and more studies that can help us identify who would be the patients responding better or worse with chemotherapy or immunotherapy. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.